Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have 9 to the power 1 minus x divided by 2x equals 5. And we're supposed to evaluate 15 to the power x. I said this is an exponential equation. It is. You can solve for x and then plug it in. And I'll be presenting multiple methods. I don't know, probably two at least. And let's get started with the first one. So the first method obviously is going to use logs, right? Okay, that's the fun part. So we have 9 to the power 1 minus 2, not 2, 1 minus x divided by 2x equals 5, and then we are supposed to evaluate 15 to the power x. I'm expecting to get a numerical value, not something in terms of x, okay? Let me clarify that first. So let's go ahead and solve for x from the first equation. How do you solve for x? We need to bring down the exponent by using logs. Let's use natural logs. So I'm going to ln both sides. And then from here, I can basically just bring down the exponent like this. And this gives me 1 minus x divided by 2x multiplied by ln 9 equals ln 5. And then from here, we can isolate the variable part divide both sides by ln 9. ln is the natural log, by the way. ln x is defined as, or maybe I should write it as ln something else, like ln a is log a with base e. e is Euler's number, which is about 2.7. Okay, that's the definition of ln. And now our goal is going to be to solve for x. How do you solve for x? There's a couple different ways to look at it. You can cross multiply or you can separate the fraction on the left hand side. I'm going to cross multiply. This looks a little easier that way. I don't know. 1 minus x times ln 9 equals 2x times ln 5. And then I'm going to distribute because I want to isolate the x ln 9 minus x ln 9 equals 2x ln 5. Let's put the x's together. Uh, ln 9 equals 2x ln 5 plus x ln 9. And then obviously since you're trying to solve for x, Let's factor out x and get it as 2 ln 5 plus ln 9. And from here we can find x as ln 9 divided by 2 ln 5 plus ln 9. Make sense? <laughs> I hope it does. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to plug it in, right? That's the, basically the, the essence of the first method. And what are we looking for? We're looking for 15 to the power x and I have a numerical value. Notice that this is a constant because 9 and 5 are constants, right? And all we have to do is evaluate 15 to the power x. So we're going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. That's going to be a little painful, but bear with me while I do that. It's going to be 15 to the power ln 9 over 2 ln 5 plus ln 9. Obviously, we can do something about this because notice that at the bottom we have something that can be worked out. Now the base is 15, but this is a 9, uh, or it's ln, so it doesn't work directly. What I mean by that is if you have b to the power log a with base b, this is always going to be a, okay? Under certain conditions, of course, as long as these are well defined. So if you can get the same base, that would be awesome. Like if I got something like 15 to the power log 3 with base 15, obviously this would be equal to 3. So I kind of need to be able to write it as um, a log in base 15. How can I do that? Well, first of all, I'm thinking about uh, putting this 2 up as a power. So I can kind of like do this. Maybe I should work with this first. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to plug it in when I'm simplified. Okay. What is ln 9 over 2 ln 5 plus ln 9 equal to? Let's go ahead and write it as first ln 25 because this is 5 squared plus ln 9. And then 25 times 9 is equal to 225, so ln 9 over ln 225. Here's what's really cool about this. After we do this, kind of like a condensing, we can expand again in a different form because uh, it's going to simplify. Notice ln 3 squared, and this is ln 15 squared. Isn't that awesome? We got a 15 at the bottom, which is super duper nice. Now we're going to move these powers to the front. That's going to give us 2 ln 3 divided by... 2 ln 15, and these two are going to cancel out. 
So we kind of end up with something much nicer, 15 to the power ln3 over ln15. So what can I do about this? It's still kind of ambiguous. Couple things you can do about it. For example, you can write 15 as a power of e. How do you do that? Well, any number a can be written as e to the power ln a, right? By the definition of the exponential. So this is actually a good way to uh, write any power as uh, a, as a new power using e as a base or as a power of e because uh, pretty much all the rules depend on uh, the a's being e, like the derivatives, all other formulas. So you don't have to memorize multiple formulas. You can just know this conversion. Make sense? So I can write the 15 as e to the power ln 15. Then I have to raise it to the power ln 3 over ln 15. But of course, this means the powers will be multiplied, right? And they're going to cancel out. Awesome. ln 15 is going to go away. And we're going to end up with e to the power ln 3, which happens to be 3 in the simplest form. Isn't that awesome? It's not, you know, clearly visible, maybe, to some of you. Uh, but uh, after a little bit of manipulation, especially this rule is super duper handy. So make sure you take a note of that. Okay, so this becomes 3 after a little bit of manipulation, maybe too much, but we're going to look at a nicer way and approach with the second method. And as I said earlier, there's um, another way to approach it within the first method, so kind of like a 1a and 1b maybe. So you can do the following as well. Once you got 15 to the power ln... Um, ln 3 over ln 15, you could do the following, especially after seeing the 15, I'm like, I get excited. Use the change of base formula backwards. Uh, and change of base formula tells us, hey, this can be written as log 3 with base 15, because that's what it means. Think about it, change of base formula, that's what it is. And now 15 cancels out, and we end up with 3. That's how the rule works. I, mean, I know it's not technical or very rigorous, but that's basically how it works. And this gives us a 3 right away. Cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick, and then I'll ask you to compare these two methods, and please let me know what you think about these methods. Okay? Cool, cool. Now, let's rewrite the problem. 9 to the power 1 minus 2x over x. I don't know why I keep writing 2x over there. This is 1x, this is 2x. So, like this. Okay. And I'm supposed to find 15 to the power x from here. So, you, you're probably thinking there must be a nicer way to do it, right? And here's what it is. I'm going to write the 9 as 3 squared and then multiply the exponents. Anytime you can multiply exponents, it's fun. And now the 2 is going to cancel out. Great. That's going to give us 3 to the power 1 minus x over x equals 5. Beautiful. Now what can I do with this? Here's what I can do. I can separate the fraction now into two pieces. Split it up. I can write it as 3 to the power 1 over x minus 1 because that's what 1 minus x all over x means. And then this is 5. And now, since the exponents are being subtracted, I can write it as a quotient. If you divide two powers at the same base, you subtract the exponent, so reverse that. And finally, I can multiply both sides by 3 or cross multiply. That gives me 3 to the power 1 over x equals 15. Remember, I'm trying to find 15 to the power x. And ta-da! If you raise both sides to the... Okay, I'm, come on, I was trying to pick a different color. So if you raise both sides to the power x, that'll do the trick, and you're going to get 3 equals 15 to the power x, or 15 to the power x equals 3. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.